In this video, I'll show you how to print on your Epson Workforce Pro 4820 using a USB drive. So you only need this, you don't need any computer, any smartphone. How this is done, it's very easy. This printer has a USB slot, a USB port right over there. You see, hiding behind this door. So the first obvious step is to plug your USB drive into this port, like that. Automatically, once you have plugged it, you should get a message on the screen after just a few seconds saying that it has detected a USB drive. Next step is to next step is to go on the home screen, press on the home button and then swipe towards the right side until you see this memory device option appearing. Tap on it. Then depending what you have on your USB drive, in my case, it's only uh, some JPEGs and one TIFF format. You're gonna see all the formats that are there appearing on the screen and you need to tap on which one you want to print. In my case, it's a JPEG and then choose the file you want to print. Um, I'll print this Pingu. Once you have selected the image or the text file that you want to print, you can, by the way, select many of them. So press over here, proceed to print. And then you're gonna have a few options. Um, you can select the paper size, the paper type, black and white or color. Even if you tap on advanced here, you're gonna have even more options, including the quality. If you want it to be the best, well, choose best. And other stuff over there that you can change. Once you're ready, select the number of copies you want of this picture or this file, and then press the print button. All right, so this is the file that got printed, looks perfect to me. And you can proceed to print more if you want, if not, simply remove the stick. And this is it, you can close this and you'll be good to go. There's also a function that not many people know, you can actually scan a document and put it directly on your USB drive. How this is done, well, let me reconnect this one. So over here, let me put something on the scanner. Let's say I want this document, I'll put it facing down and the corner over here, there's an arrow, I'll just bring it there. Close the scan lid. Then over here, I'll move and select scan. Then go on the right side and select memory device. Change the settings according to what you want to scan and press save. It will scan and the file will go directly there. So this is quite practical if you don't have a computer around or a smartphone. If this is the only document you want to scan and you are done, you need to press on last original. If you want to scan more stuff, well, put the new stuff here and press start scanning. In my case, this is just one document I want to scan, so I'll press this and this is it. One page have been saved. You're good to go. So I hope this was useful. Leave a like, subscribe. If you want to get a USB drive, some paper for your printer, ink from Amazon, check my affiliate links and I'll see you in the next video.